Hi. Now, I was thinking I would like to take a little um, ham loom with me to, to Europe. And I just saw these. And I have a piece of this. And I wonder if I could do it with these. What do you think? Bet I could. So I'm going to just see what I can do. Okay? You can watch me play. Okay, first I'm going to chop this in half. Or maybe I should have two of these. of these now. Do I need two or only need one? No, I need two. Okay. So now I'll go over here and set all this up. Let's see. So I'm going to need a very narrow um, drill. It's got to be the same size as this. big. Or too small, is it? It's too small. Or that's too big. This is slightly too big. You see, if you can see the the bit on both sides, then you know that it's going to make a hole that's bigger. Let's see what this one's like. It's still going to make a bigger, too big a hole. Just right. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Can you see where I'm working here? No. Okay. So I'm going to remove that from there. I need my little Here. 
there it is. Okay, so I'm going to put holes in here so that I can put these in here.
not perfect, but that's how it goes. Okay. They're a little big. There's a fat one. It's probably the one I measured. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. We need two more which we don't have, of course. That's okay. Okay, so I will cut these all off. But first I'm going to nail them on, or first I'm going to glue them on. So let's go around this side. And we'll start gluing over here, where we are making less of a mess. I'll make a mess somewhere else. those in there just to count them actually. So how far apart do I want these? Where's my other one? Where'd I put my other one? There it is. You saw that. So I need them far enough apart that I can raise it and lower it so I can make my shed the way I want it. So that's probably good enough like that. Which means that my pieces are going to need to be about that long. are about that long. That means about right there. Now not all of my holes are going to be deep enough. Told me that, right? 
What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Okay, so I ruined every one of my sticks, didn't I? Every single one. After all that work and the spirit telling me not to do it, and you probably yelling, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Anyway, so whatever. Here we have whatever we've got left. Not What happens if you do one? Oh, do them with scissors or nippers. If I have anything left of them to use. Well, Nancy, another failure. Yes, indeed, in front of all the world. Do you even have them over here? They flew everywhere. If you ever need to shatter sticks, now you know how. Okay, so now that we've ruined these, we could use toothpicks. How about Q-tips? Hey, Q-tips would be a good idea. Let's get our things. We'll go to our Q-tip supply. Oh look, they're even over here on the floor. They went everywhere. Okay, so... I know where the Q-tips are. Actually, they'll probably work better. Ta-da! Let's go sit at the kitchen table. And the Q-tips will probably push into these holes. glad you know me. Oops, let's get you over the other way. There we are. Okay, so now hmm. Nope. They aren't going to work. They'd probably work if I clip these off. But, you know, I might have toothpicks somewhere. Seems like I saw toothpicks somewhere. Once upon a time. Hmm. Okay, I gotta go figure it out. Bye!